Hey guys, it's your girl Kirsty. Welcome back to my channel. For these candy corn rolls, you're going to be starting with a part that is from your one ear to the other ear, just like this. Now, you're going to get a mirror or have somebody do it, but you're going to separate that section into three smaller sections or four, depending on your head size. Now, the hair that I'm going to be using today is by Rasta Free. It's the original classic Jumbo in the color BT Orange Yellow. And this color is gorgeous, you guys. I love it. I got so many compliments. This hair is 100% Kanekalon and it is so pretty. And um, you guys, it wasn't itching, it was soft, and it didn't tangle, it didn't cut my fingers. So, yeah, get you some packs, girl. So when I do my fit-in cornrows, I like to start with small pieces of that braiding hair and then get bigger sections, just like I'm doing now. I'll be using Carol's Daughter Mimosa Hair Honey. This is a pomade. It's going to add shine. It's going to make your hair smell good. And I've been using it on my hair and on my clients' hair for at least a year and a half now and a lot of my clients like it and they always come back and say that their hair was longer or it was softer so yeah that's gonna be the base of my you know moisturization for this hairstyle so I completed the three cornrows in the back and that's just a glimpse of what it looks like now there is a middle section to this style and for the middle section it is also based off of your head shape and size but you want to follow this same type of rectangle pattern as you can see what I have here. Ta -da! <laughs> So it doesn't look like much but you know you just kind of want to follow this so again get your mirror and use your rat tail comb to part as neat as you can a nice rectangle shape. Take your hair honey pomade and you're going to place it on your hair and look at that shine. I love to focus on my ends with any moisturization product that I use but for this I keep it all over. Now don't forget about your gel. Add the gel of your choice to your edges and then use a brush to slick it down and continue braiding. Now for my feet and cornrows, you guys have seen this method plenty of times where I use my thumb and my finger to, you know, hold the hair and then place it on. So if you guys want an even slower version of this, you know, really slow down, really, really close up, let me know in the comments down below. Um, as you can see here, my hair is blending in just fine and I wasn't having any issues with tangling with this braiding hair from Rasta Free. When you're doing your cornrow, you want to make sure you take your time. You want to make sure that you keep your rat tail comb handy at all times because tangles will come from your natural hair depending on how well you detangled it in the beginning. So as you can see, I'm just using my comb to smooth out my hair to help it blend seamlessly with the braiding hair. At this point, you want to use gel or beeswax or even hairspray, depending on the texture of your hair, to really make sure your hair is blending in with that hair and that it's sticking together and that you don't have any flyaways. So yeah, I love this hair. I love how my braids came out and as you guys can see, you know, they look flawless. I'm so glad that I used the Mimosa Hair Honey Shine Pomade from Carol's Daughter because it really made the blending process so much easier for my cornrows. Um, you always want to use something with moisture to help your hair blend in and the Shine Pomade is going to moisturize your hair, it's going to condition it and it's going to control the frizz but it's perfect for dry, brittle, textured hair and for me my ends tend to be the most dry or brittle. So yeah, thank you to Carol's daughter for that. Um, when you're doing your feed and braid, you just wanna go ahead and braid all the way down. You can use a clear rubber band if you really, really, really have to, but you shouldn't have to use any rubber bands or anything to secure this hair. Once you braid it all the way down to the very tip, it should last. Now to seal my hair and to make it shine even more, I'm gonna use Mimosa Hair Honey Conditioning Mist to nourish my hair and to add a weightless shine. Then that's it you guys. 
Oh yeah, don't forget about your edges. Lay those girls down. Make sure they look good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you thought this festive look was hot, comment down below. Would you wear a color this vibrant, this bold? I was not ashamed and I was proud to wear it. Thank you, Rasta Free. Thank you, Carol's Daughter. Thank you guys for 66,000 subscribers. Thank you. Praise God for that. You guys, stay channeling the beauty that's within inside of you. I'm out. Mwah. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Bye.